Hello, my lovely Libras. It is Lori. I am here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I'm using a new tarot deck here, the Holy Grail. Seven of Swords just popped out. Somebody fought for something, strategizing. So this is a new tarot deck. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see how it works for our uplifting readings. Um, you know, I like to uh, focus on the positive during these readings, but we'll take out take whatever comes out. All right, let's go ahead and get right into this. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates with you and that you return in the future. If you are a returning viewer, you know I love you to pieces, as we've been saying. Either way, I want to say how grateful I am for each and every one of you. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Okay, there'd be no reason to be here. You guys are awesome. I appreciate every comment, every like, every share, every subscription. You guys are awesome. Let's get right into your reading and see who we are focusing on. What is magical about you? Oh, okay. We got the Empress right away. Abundance and love, fertility and growth. There may be, you may be a divine feminine or there may be a divine feminine in your life. I am hearing that this is you being abundant, okay, creative, balanced, whole, receptive, open to love, giving love, doting, as well as um, being doted, allowed, allowing yourself to be doted on. You're, you're, this is the real deal. This is the whole package I keep hearing. Male or female does not matter, okay? This is about being in this energy of receptivity as well as being able to give to others. Beautiful card here, too. Beautiful energy. So, yeah, it's like being totally um, knowing who you are, okay? You've got your boundaries. You've got your um, principles, your lines that you don't let people cross, that you don't cross, okay? You know who you are and you're confident and capable. Beautiful in the sense of your heart is beautiful, okay? You've got a beautiful soul. What is something you've overcome in the past or that you've accomplished in the past that you should be proud of? Yeah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. You changed your destiny. You ended cycles and you opened up new opportunities for yourself. I'm also hearing, just looking at this card, that some of you work with physics. Um, oh, 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 nanotechnology is coming through here. I know what I'm trying to come up with. Um, oh, jeez. The microscopic. How... How everything that's large, okay, so if you consider the human body and you look inside the human body, you will see um, things that mimic smaller microcosmic, oh my gosh, what am I trying to come up with here? Something, quantum physics, quantum physics. Some of you may be dealing with quantum physics, okay? Understanding that every single thing in the universe is connected and that what looks micro, if you look closely at it, becomes a whole new world that looks just like the world that we're living in or the universe or whatever it is. It's just absolutely amazing how <laughs> everything is absolutely connected. Scientists, um, people, and I'm trying to move away from the word use, using the word guru because it's become taboo. Let's just say somebody who has mastered the understanding of how things work, okay? So um, that could be you for sure. Or I'm actually getting that some of you are, are working with somebody else who is a master in a particular field and you are working towards becoming that master, that having that same level of understanding this is beautiful. I am getting Buddhist um, energies here. It's definitely spiritual connectedness, understanding the collective consciousness. And what you've overcome in the past was feeling 
small and inconsequential, like you didn't matter. And then when you started somehow delving into, I think it was quantum physics that really caught your eye. It could have been something else where before pre-quantum physics, um, just microcosms. Um, but anyways, it doesn't matter. That woke you up. That woke you up. And even though that should have made you feel infantis <laughs> um, infinitely smaller, because you're now expanding yourself out into the universe and we're just... We're, but what you discovered is that we're all connected. That everything that we've already... All the knowledge that's out there is already known and it can be shared between each and every one of us. All we have to do is tap into it. We have to see how we can tap into it. Wow, using different cards really brings about a different type of energy here. But you changed your fortune. You changed your destiny. You changed from being somebody who felt like they were small and inconsequential and nobody cared about you and nobody saw you and you brought yourself forefront. I'm hearing some of you are um, laureates, okay? Some of you may have um, written major papers, major dissertations about this type of energy, about this collective consciousness, about um, quantum physics, but you overcame that feeling of being small by expanding your vision of the universe. That's so funny. I love the humor in that. What is what what kind of impact do you have on the people around you? The three of wands. Opportunities in arising. Yeah, you help people to come forward. Bring you bring out the very best in people. You make them feel playful, joyous, happy. Um, one eye on the future, but living in the moment. That's what's really coming out here, okay? Just enjoying the bliss of the moment right now and the wonder and awe of the world, the possibilities of things to come, but just taking the time to be happy and joyful right now. And you do, you, you personally do that, but you also have that impact on people around you. I'm hearing you have a very awesome sense of humor, you cannot offend anyone with anything you say in your humor because it's so, it's just like really good, really, really, really good dad jokes. Okay. <laughs> so you can't offend anybody. You, you just can't do it. <laughs> and I don't see, I am seeing the occasional eye roll, but even so, whatever the joke was warmed somebody's heart. Okay. So. It's a really good impact. You do lighten the mood. You you bring levity to any situation. Okay. Beautiful. I love this. You feel free and this helps you feel free. Just keeping this um, eye towards knowing that there's opportunities out there. Anything is possible. I'm hearing like Peter Pan energy here that, you know, whatever we dream can come true, which... You don't have to dream it. You just have to intend it, and then it will come. I'm also getting, because this is um, showing the person in a boat on water, it does look like um, you bring a sense of calm, of peace, of not being in a drama-filled area, okay? Beautiful. I'm sure you can probably hear my neighbors. I think they are having a party or something. It's about five houses down that way. Like, that way. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what talent or skill you have that we should know about. The Hierophant. Wow. Yes, you definitely have um, commitments and values. You know who you are. Again, you have those um, boundaries, you um, principles, ethics, that's the word I was looking for earlier, ethics, okay, commitments. Here it says spiritual traditions, faith and organizations, commitments and values. Yeah, your values, you know who you are. You have no qualms about knowing who you are. There is no ego here. I want to point this out. This is not somebody who's egotistical, okay? This is about somebody who knows who they are and they're very down to earth, very grounded. Look at the green. Okay, sturdy, reliable, dependable. 
The Empress is not an egomaniac. Not even close. Just the opposite of that. Gives of themselves, but receives everything that they need to. Okay, so when her cup goes down, hers or his, it doesn't matter who you are. When, the, when this cup of love goes down, this person makes sure that they go and get it filled back up. Okay, and there's plenty of people around to do that. Because you that you personally put out this beautiful energy of helping other people, okay, sharing in your abundance, um, helping people to express their creative ideas, sharing in your creative ideas and your energy. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Now, for some of you, this is a deep spirituality here, okay? Even if you're a scientist, you are connecting with the collective consciousness, consciousness here. I love how science and spirituality are coming together finally. Finally. I mean, I don't I've never understood why it had to be this or it had to be that. It's not life is not black or white. Life is gray. Okay? Yes, we do have those extremes and when we have those extremes, that's when really bad things happen. Both on the good side and the bad side, whatever, okay? And I hate I I dislike using the word good or bad because things are not good or bad. They're just white or black, okay? And we need to be gray. We need to be down the middle. And isn't it funny that we have gray right here in the middle? With a green of grounding, balance. I love this. All right. What do you do right now that you should never, ever, ever stop doing? The moon card. Illusion, subconscious, hidden truths. Yeah, you, you seek the wonder. Look, here's, I don't know, I guess that's the moon and here's the moon. You see the wonders, okay? You see that through the illusions that um, of man that we've placed the societal restrictions on ourselves, okay? Others have imposed them on us. And now you're, you've broken free of that with this, whatever this was, brought this energy in, created this sense of awe and wonder and beauty and just, you know, yeah. This is beautiful. You are connected on the spiritual level, the subconscious mind, okay? Where there are secrets, you will find them. Where And I don't mean like petty secrets, like she did this or she didn't. No, I'm talking about secrets of the universe. Secrets of humanity, secrets of um, connectedness, whatever. How the world works, how the universe works, what works, you know? Yeah, you find, you seek out those hidden truths. I love that. I absolutely love that. Please don't ever stop doing that. And this does have such a wonderful effect on you and everybody in your environment. I'm also hearing here that you break through the, the illusions, but you help others. Okay. This is something that you do. You help to soothe other people's, um, Tower moments is a, be, is a good way to do, talk about this right now because there's been so many tower moments for you guys. When you come to an understanding of something that you did not know until this moment and you're trying to deal with that, this you're the person that helps people deal with it. To understand that it's okay to have been wrong in the past, to have a misconceived idea, as long as you move forward with the knowledge that you have and you soothe people in that, okay? And that comes from this... Trying to do things the correct way. Having values. Believing in people. Okay. Look at that. The Four of Cups. Yeah, you're helping people to see what they're missing out on here. This is exactly what it is. What they do need to hold on to and what they want to, um, what they should hold on to and embrace and what they should release. Okay. This is beautiful. This is really nice. I love this message. I love this. If you are connecting science with what I call magic, spirit, science and magic, I guess all the books I used to read, all the sci-fi fantasy books, all the fantasy books, I should say, um, Piers Anthony is a good example, The Hobbit, um, whatever, The Lord of the Rings, all these books about my favorite. And this is where I learned about neutrality. And I'm so grateful because I was about 20, 24, 25, somewhere right around there. And my life was a mess. And I read this book by, um, 
Mickey Zucker Reichart. And it was called the Renche Warrior. And yeah, back then, I was into accepting the violence of the world and, you know, whatever. But anyways, there's a whole theme. The whole theme is about neutrality. Um, but I ended up loving those books that taught me about neutrality. So if you don't know that and you're not sure what I'm talking about, I will say the books are pretty graphic in some of the descriptions of the Renche Warrior. However, there's supposedly she just informed us last year that they may be putting that into movie, which would be pretty cool. I think. I don't know. I, I don't like the blood and gore. I don't like that. But the lesson that was learned in there, neutrality. Very cool. Bringing magic and science together. That's what Piers Anthony was writing about in his um, The Adept series, which I absolutely loved. Absolutely loved every book in that. Um, you might want to check that out. That was pretty cool. Anyways, if you are doing this, please drop me a comment. That was my whole point. Drop me a comment. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you're working on if it's not top secret, okay? Because um, I would like to know more about this. Also, if you would like to honor this, these people that we're focusing on right now, please give that like button a little tickle, a little tap, a little love, okay? Boop it. What did somebody just sent me one? Um, I can't remember what it was now. You know, tickle it like ivory, you know, like you're playing the piano. Go ahead and like the like button, whatever it is. Show it some love. That's how you show each other. My fellow Libra, your fellow Libras. I'm an Aries. Trying to become a Libra. Okay, that's my north node, Libra. That I just discovered that. Okay. Like it. Claim it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We have an awesome community. We would love to have you join us. Also, check out the description box. Join the emailing list. Personal reading information. You know, all of that's there. Okay. Let me get you... We will continue with the Spirit Animal Oracles. If anybody has seen any tarot decks or oracle decks that you think you would like me to use, go ahead and mention it. I'm not saying I'll go out and get it, but I would definitely entertain it. I love new things. And, you know, since this channel is about my lovely Libras, then I want to see if you can enjoy it as much as possible. All right, let's see what spirit animals are coming out today. Ooh, about to drop the whole deck. This is going rather quick. Woof. This one? Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. i got to put these uh, cards up here. All right, so we have 18 Dear Spirit, Bring a Gentle Touch. Love this. 7 B Spirit. I'm pretty sure we had exactly these two cards together. And this is happening a lot lately, so I do want to mention this. Usually I add the, card, the numbers on the cards together, but I've been noticing that if I subtract it, it gives me the same number as the card next to it. So see if you notice that in the readings, okay? So we have card 18 here, which is Deer Spirit. And if you subtract one from eight, it becomes seven, which we have B Spirit. Sweet results await. And the color in this is just like feeling harmonious too. Like I almost, do you see this wing? Doesn't it almost feel like it's a bee's wing right there? All right, let's see what else we've got. Number 10, Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. Look at this, and we were talking about the universe. 14, chameleon spirit. Act as if. That's all about manifesting. We have triple ones. One, one, one. We have seven and four is another 11. Wow. And then if you, that's nine and 10. There is some sort of, there's going to be some sort of change. Um, something is happening here. What have we got, Spirit? Spirit's saying, um, act as if it's already happened. Okay, when this comes your way, there's going to be some sort of, I'm hearing for some of you, it may be a financial challenge. 
For others of you, it's going to be a spiritual challenge. It's not going to be a massive thing. It's just going to be a challenge, okay? Not a big tower moment or anything like that. Like somebody may say, hey, can I borrow 20 bucks and I'll pay you back tomorrow or later today? And then they just disappear. You're out 20 bucks. That's not life-threatening, okay? I think we could all... We're going to miss 20 bucks, but we can live without that $20. And you should never give anyone money that you cannot lose. You know what I'm saying? If you need that 20 bucks, I don't care how desperate that other person is. You need to think of yourself first because if you deplete yourself, you can't take care of yourself. And then you can't help anyone else in the future. Keep that in mind. Um, but I, I see a minor thing like that with money. Um, but I'm also hearing that this is going to test... There may be a test of faith of a friendship, of a relationship. Like they said they would do something and then they don't. Okay. So be gentle with yourself if that happens. Don't beat yourself up. It is what it is. People are humans. They make mistakes. We make mistakes. Um, and you will oh, you will have enough because the, the universe will provide. Okay. All right. So normally I read from that book, but Spirit's saying not today. Spirit would like to give you an enchanted map, oracle message, fifty. The compass, staying, knowing who you are and staying true to yourself. Your boundaries, okay? 30, making a choice. Okay, this is the one that Spirit really wants. This is like the Two of Wands energy, and that's what's coming at you. Okay, so I'm hearing right off the bat here, three, 30 and 50, 80, 8, okay? Infinite, infinity, knowing that we're all connected, that it's not that big of a deal, Staying true to your morals, your values, your commitments, your boundaries, okay, and not losing your cool, I guess, would be, a, a, you know, not losing faith is what I'm hearing. Not losing faith in this person. It's just a temporary situation. So let's see what 50 says real quick. Compass. As long as you orient your compass to true north, your following your values, your boundaries, so on and so forth, the direction of your in the direction of your higher power, okay, then you will never be lost. You will always know how to handle whatever situation comes your way. Okay, here you are required to come to a decision at this time. You may be faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it, yet you don't have to be afraid of, of it. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. So don't jump in too quick is what I heard with that. Trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from spirit and you will be led down the right path. All right, if you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. So bring a gentle touch here, okay? Yeah, so just understand that we all make mistakes, and uh, this can be fixed. This will be fixed. All right, one last card here. Your crystal... Eternal Crystal Oracle card. Let me know, guys. Are you buying crystals? Have you bought gemstones? Have you found any of them to work for you? Do you already own some? Drop me a comment and let me know. Okay, I would love to know what you guys do. How you feel about gemstones and stuff like that. They definitely are imbued with um, energies. And they do help. There's two. All righty. So the first one here is Lapis Lazuli. Problems are resolved. Absolutely. This is card 24, which adds up to six. Actually, I'm hearing again, subtract. 
So if you take two from four, that's about the, like the two of cups, the two of wands here, choices, um, the two of cups. Again, it's about making healthy choices in our relationships and such. But six is also about harmony, peace, coming together, balance, restoration. And then we have Unakite, live in the present moment, okay? I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, oh, look at this. The card numbers are 42 and 24. So four, two, two, four. Or two, 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 and two, two, two. All right. But I'm also noticing the color harmony here between the Unakite, live in the present moment, and act as if, okay? This does not mean to fake it. This means, like, you know it's coming to you. Just live your life as if everything that you want is coming to you after you set your clear intentions, okay? This is not about faking it and putting on masks and all this other stuff, no, okay? All right, Chiostolite, Chiastolite past loved ones huh there's something here for somebody that could be why we have a gentle touch here look at the color harmony here that's card 11 being in alignment doors opening portals 11 is actually portals opening and then we have tourmaline another four so we have four four two two four smudging in the root chakra so there's something here about the root chakra for you guys okay let's see what's going on here number 11 chiastolite uh, that's a cool gemstone can you see that that is really cool i like that now this tourmaline it's funny because it looks similar to this. See how it's got that tip? But this, I believe, is amethyst. So, tourmaline must look kind of like it. All right. Chiastolite. Past loved ones, root chakra. This card has appeared to let you know how loved and protected you are by your passed on loved ones. They are always with you, constantly looking after you and your family. They wish for you to clear any feelings of sadness and or guilt, okay? Bring a gentle touch. It's time now for you to move forward and know that everything is going to be okay. Yeah, bring a gentle touch there. Open yourself to the possibility that your connection to your past loved ones remains intact in a different form and their love for you is eternal, okay? Let's check out tourmaline here real quick. Cleanse yourself. Focus on getting rid of any old, stagnant, or negative energy from both your physical place and your work environment, okay? Um, so your mind, body, and soul, and your physical home, okay? You can use a Native American smudge stick, such as an incense stick, aromatherapy, oils, or spritzers holy water, or even just hold a strong intention to clear the energy. It doesn't matter how, what tool you use to cl clear your energy. The most important thing is for you to strongly and positively affirm that you want all negativity removed. Tourmaline helps you to release stress from your body and your mind. It reminds you to try to remain positive no matter what the circumstances are in your life right now. There is always some sort of silver lining to each cloud. It may take a little time for it to come in, but it is there. Bring a gentle touch. Compassion and tolerance for yourself and others is needed at this time. Open yourself up to giving and receiving love equally. Surround yourself with positive people that help you help to keep your energy field uplifted. All right, so that was important. I was pointing out the cards underneath, okay? All right, my lovely Libras, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.